Hi, this is Anthony, and in this video, I will focus on the animation feature in Explainedio 2.0 Pro. The new version of Explainedio was released on July 1st, 2015, and has many new features. You can check these videos to learn more about the new Explainedio version. Now, let me show you how to use the animation feature. Okay, so I am in Explainedio now, and I have created a project. I've called it EVC Animation Feature. So once you create a project, you want to click on this add icon to create a scene. So you click this button to create a scene, and down below you will see all these little buttons. So the first one, as you can see, is Add Animation or Slide, Add Video, Add Bitmap Image, which is basically um, a picture, Add Sketch Image, and Add Text, and finally Close Canvas. So when you first start off, you'll be uh, you'll have a blank canvas like this and um, before I get into anything else I just want to show you that as you can see you can zoom in and zoom out of the canvas and I'm just basically using the mouse um, tracking ball or the slider of the mouse or the, or the ball that you have on the mouse to you know to zoom in and zoom out okay so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start off first with a text so I'm going to click add text and as you can see as soon as you do that it uh, you know it creates this little box this text box okay with default text and um, as you can see I just increase the size this way by just dragging and you know dragging these little pointers there you will also notice that you've got the shift these three little arrows and this add animation button and we'll talk about that in a moment but before I do anything else I just want to show you this little panel here and um, essentially what you can do in this panel is um, in this box if you want to change what the text what this text says if you want to change that you would do this in this box here let's just say okay test text sketch okay let's do that and as you can see as soon as I change that it changes here as well the other thing you can do is you can change the font family I'll change this to you know this thicker font okay you can change the font size here as well but as you know like I just showed you you can also change the font size just by dragging these little pointers and you can also create some effects if you want to here let's not get into that alright so what I'd like to do is now just show you what you can do with this text so first of all the shift um, icon you see when I um, when I click the icon it locks okay and when it locks as you can see it only is able to increase and decrease in size proportionally but if I unlock it you can squeeze it stretch it the way you want it okay so that's how that works the three little arrows here if you click on it and hold it you can change the orientation of the text okay and then finally the animation okay so the animation let me just decrease this so for the animation if you click just watch when I click the animation it's going to actually duplicate that box this text box so as you can see you know you've got two text and, it, and you can see there's this little connector so that's how you animate text so let's let me just hold this right here and and hold this there and as you can see as soon as I click that you also have this little box and we'll talk about that in a moment but essentially these frames that you see 24 here uh, that's how many frames will take for the text for, to get from this point to this point 24 frames is one second so the higher this number the slower the motion the smaller this number the faster the motion so let me just uh, demonstrate that so let me just keep this to 24 okay and I'm gonna close the canvas to see it animate you close the canvas and you'll see it'll start sketching okay and then after it stops it will move okay so now if you did not want it to sketch you want to go to this action before okay and change this to from sketch by hand to nothing okay so um, you will see now it will stop for a little while and move the reason if it's that it's a little slow as you can see this little slider here if you move the slider right to the left okay you'll see it happens much faster now if you click on this slide you'll see it happen again okay so let me open the canvas now okay 
and uh, let me pull this off the okay let me pull this off the canvas and I'm bringing it into the canvas okay so watch this if I close it you see that if I click on the it happens again okay you can do this here as well you can use this this is to play to pause and stop so if I open the canvas now okay you can also make it you know do different things so for example if you want a zooming effect uh, you know you can do that okay so watch this now we'll close the canvas you see it gives you a zooming effect now watch this when I click on this if I reduce this to 12 that is half a second and close the canvas you'll see it's much faster so as you can see if you want to increase the size or, or rather increase the speed you'll lower this number if you want to slow it down you'll increase this number okay so for example if I click 48 or change this to 48 and close the canvas you'll see very slow okay the other thing you can do with this is you can create multiple animation points so for example let's just say I wanted to come from you know from here to here okay and then I wanted I'm just gonna reduce this to 12 and let's just say I want to create another animation point so I'll click on this and then I'll say add animation point I'll click on that one and let's just say I want to you know move this text right here and I want to move it a little faster so I'll increase uh, or decrease this number to 12 and close the canvas so just watch this now alright so that's what has, so that's what you can do you can create multiple animation points now if I click on that animation point and let's just say I did not want that I would just click this remove point so when I click that you see that's gone okay and if I want to remove this one I just click on this one and it's gone so I'm just left with this one now now let me just show you one final type of animation so you can as you can see that you can do various things with these animations right so let me click on this add animation okay and this time what I want to do is I want it to go from here and I'm just going to reduce the size and I'm going to flip it over okay and I'm going to bring it right here okay so and I'm going to close the canvas so you'll see the you see that if I play it again it does that okay now if I want to sketch this okay I'll close the canvas and then I'll change this to sketch right so it'll start sketching and then bang it'll move okay I'll open the canvas now if I want to add another text okay I'll just say add text and now I can you know do some write something else right just change this to you know this is cool Right, I can change the size again, change the font to whatever else I want. Right? And uh, if I close the canvas, as you can see, it's going to sketch it. Now, if you want to preview, the, as you can see now, there are two slides, right? But this is one scene. If I want to look at this one, if I want to see the animation, I would click on this slide. Okay? If I click on this one, it you know it it basically plays that one. Now if I click this preview button, it plays all the slides. So I hope you get the the gist of you know how to animate. So you can basically create as many of these uh, points. Another thing you can do with um, this type of animation is as you can see you know we've got nothing in the background it's just a white background I mean you can leave it that way if you want to but if you want to add you know uh, either an image static image or a background video you can add that in the scene tab so if you go to the scene tab you will notice that you've got this section right here is for the images and this one is for the video if you click on this browse button it'll take you to your computer or explorer and um, you can you can choose whichever videos and sort of add them there make sure that your video is an mp4 format at 24 frames per second um, so I've got for example some um, 
papers, different types of papers here. So for example, if I want to use this one, I'll just uh, you know choose that and say add image. As you can see, it adds a static image. If I want to add a video, like I mentioned, I just showed you that one. But I've got some animated um, SWF files. All right, so for example, I can choose this one. I'll add that. So as you can see, it gives a nice cool effect with the moving background and the text animation. Okay, so now let me show you um, animation with a sketch image. So right here, click on this button, add sketch image. I'm going to take this one right here. And as you can see, as soon as I do that, it brings it on canvas. Let me start off by showing you first um, zooming in. So for example, I want to create an animation for it to come from here to the middle and then zoom. So I create an animation point, as you can see, it creates a duplicate image. And then I'm just going to, you know, increase. Uh, I generally like to lock the, the thing. And um, I'm going to create the zooming effect, right? So this is a very simple animation. Here I close the canvas. You'll see it'll start sketching. Now, like I mentioned to you, if you do not want to sketch, you want to change this to, uh, under action before, you want to change it to nothing. And then, of course, the slider, as you can see, you want to bring it right to the left. Right to the left. Um, you see that? So it creates a zooming effect. Um, similarly, if you want to create a zooming effect from, from inside here, this way, you basically place that image, you know, the original image right here, and then the animated one right here, and you'll watch this, as you can see, it's a zooming effect. Okay. Similarly, as you know, if I, you know, you can start off from here, bring this here. Now with uh, pictures, sketches, videos, slides, you can also flip them. So for example, as you can see this here, you've got flip vertically, flip uh, horizontally right here. Okay, so I'm going to use flip uh, horizontally, and you will notice that when I do that, this clock is going to just flip over, right? And um, I'll create another animation point. I'm going to change it to 12 just to speed it up. And uh, I'm going to add another animation point, and I'm going to bring it in the middle here, and I'm going to flip it again. Okay, so you watch this, right? It creates this effect. And um, you can do whatever you want to with it, pretty much, right? So I hope you get the uh, the idea of you know what you can do with this. Okay, so now let me show you how to animate a video. Now it works in the same principle as a sketch image, uh, and again you can apply the same principle to a uh, slide, uh, to a slide or to an um, to a picture. The only difference between a text and all the rest is that you can flip all the rest and you cannot flip the text unless you convert it to uh, an image. So anyway, um, to let's add an, uh, a video by clicking this button right here, add video. I'm going to add it from my local drive and I'm going to choose that video, say open. It's going to create um, a sketch. If you did not want the video to sketch, then just make sure that this box is checked don't sketch and then add the video it'll start vectorizing image and then bring it on the canvas okay as you can see right here so as you can see the, the size of the video is small smaller than canvas you'll notice there's two little buttons right here that say scale full screen and scale full screen proportional and um, what it basically does is if I click full screen as you can see it makes the video the same size as the canvas okay so what we'll do now is let's try a little zooming effect. I'll add, click this add animation. As you can see it creates this, um, a duplicate there. And then what I want to do is I want to make sure that you click this shift and lock it. So I'm going to zoom it in. Okay, I'm going to zoom it in and just watch this. I'm going to close the canvas and so basically it creates a zooming effect and then plays the video. Uh, if I open the canvas, you can do whatever, like I said, with it, right? So you can start from here. You can um, lock it. Um, you can bring it in here, okay? Start off small like this. Bring it in here and then create another animation point. Add animation. And then increase that size. Okay, so watch this now. Close the canvas. Okay. Yeah. So as you can see, you can do various things with it. Uh, like I mentioned earlier, to 
remove an animation point click on that animation point and click remove click on animation point and click remove okay so we're left with the original here now the other thing you can do is you can actually uh, you know create this animation okay let's just create this like this or right here and you can put a background so for example as you can see it does that right uh, but you can also go to the scene tab and uh, create uh, you know or rather put a a background image or a video so this section as you know is for image and this one is for video but I do have some SWF files here or images that are motion uh, like these ones right here so you know you can add for example this background video and as you can see you know you've got a video in a video right so you see the video is playing in the background and then you've got this video that comes in here right so if you if you create the same effect here and create another animation point you can bring it in here and sort of zoom it in while that video is playing in the background so if I close the canvas now you'll see it bring it in and you've got two videos playing video and video there is so much more you can do with um, the animation feature in NEVC 2.0 Pro so hope that gives you a good idea on how to use it. Um, if you've got any questions, you know you can always leave them uh, in the comment section. And um, if you want me to create any specific video, feel free to let me know as well. Thanks for stopping by. Cheers.